Hi, I'm Carola and on Instagram I'm at from Carola. In this video I'm going to be talking about five-year journals or five-year diaries. Nearing the end of the year you may be wondering whether you should get a journal or diary that lasts for the year or um, there are options to get journals that cover um, three years, five years, and ten years depending on the brand. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the ways that I'm using my Hobonichi five-year techo and my Midori five-year diary. And hopefully it gives you some ideas um, and inspiration into what you can use a five-year diary or journal for in your own life. So first I'm going to talk about the Hobonichi five-year techo. And um, you can find this journal probably um, at your local retailer um, in September when Hobonichi releases their products for the following year or you can go directly to the Hobonichi store online at um, 1101.com and um, you may be able to find it you know at JetPens and um, other online retailers depending on their inventory and how much they have. So um, I got the Hobonichi five-year tech show as of 2022 so it's going to last me until 2026 and I got the a6 and, I, and they also have a5 but I went with a smaller one because I wasn't too sure what I was gonna, going to use it for um, I personally have memory keeping and yearly archive journals and um, I don't necessarily want to use a five-year journal for that but I did want to start a gratitude um, journal or gratitude practice as of this year and I decided to go with a five-year journal and that's why I chose Hobonichi. I'm using an A6 zip cover from Hobonichi and as you can see it fits it pretty well. Um, I don't close it, I don't zip it up because I leave it on my desk to remind myself to write um, on the daily and um, it fits it pretty comfortable and I don't add any stickers or washi really so it doesn't really bulk up too much um, just from writing and I also do a little bit of watercolor inside but I will get into that in a little bit. Um, so I got the five-year techo um, because I wanted to start a gratitude practice as I mentioned and I did start it on the first day of January and I have been writing it pretty much every day. If I miss a day, I tend to go back and just look at my um, personal journal and pick something that I was grateful for, which I tend to write in my journal anyways. And then I write it in this um, five-year techo. And sort of in March, I think it was, yeah, I decided to um, experiment with watercolor because this is Tomori River paper which handles fountain pen um, ink really well. It also handles light watercolor, so not too much water, but it does um, handle watercolor pretty well. And so I started practicing, um, you know, putting in watercolor and drawing loose florals. And if you follow me on Instagram at From Corolla, you've seen a lot of um, reels of me showing my process and how I use watercolor in my um, five year as well as my Hobonichi cousin of Ek. So take a look there if you want to see more. Um, but so far I haven't been watercoloring every day. It's been more of a, you know, when you, when I have time kind of thing, I go in and do watercolor, but I'm looking forward to over the five years, um, adding to the pages that have watercolor on them already or adding new watercolor um, on blank pages. So that's what I'm using the right hand side for because it's blank. Um, it's a blank canvas. You can put anything in there. You can write, you can draw. I've decided to do a little bit of painting. And on the left hand side um, there are five dividers for each year and they're marked so um, you can go in and write a daily highlight or anything that you want to track pretty much over the five years. And the cool thing is over each year, um, I'll be able to see how my gratitude has changed, you know, from small little moments that made me smile in the day to maybe something big that happened. Um, but I think that would be really interesting to track over five years. And um, to write in the entries, I use the 
um, Energel um, in 0.3 and uh, the paper handles it really well. So that's great. And I also, like I mentioned, I use a bit of watercolor and I also use the Tombow Mono Drawing Pen Fine Liner to draw on top. And um, I don't have any issues with uh, bleed through and very minimal ghosting, if any, on the following pages. Um, I do use a pencil board um, just so I don't um, indent on the next page. That, that's just a personal preference. Um, you don't have to use one. And I also sometimes use a blotting sheet so I don't, when I'm writing at the top entry, I don't um, smudge any, or don't leave any um, hand oils on the entries below. In the back of the book, um, the Hobonichi Techo actually includes a full page for each year, so you can add highlights or anything else. And then it has a page where it says, remember this. And then it has a page for gifts, addresses, and my lists. So I haven't filled any of these out yet. Um, but I think these are great pages to um, have some reflection or overall highlights for each year. So that's how I use my five-year techo um, and so far I'm enjoying it. I love um, that I can just put in a small entry per day. It's, I, don't, I write like a sentence or two each day. I don't write too much. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that um, transitions over five years. And in my five-year Midori diary, um, Midori actually has three years, five years, and ten years. I believe ten years is the longest. I'm, I, they may have another one, but um, I chose the five-year similar to the Hovenichi. And this one is a little bit different in how I use it and how it's set up. So first thing, I love the cover of the Midori 5-year. Um, in contrast, actually, I sh I'll show you. This is the Hobonichi 5-year Techo cover. Um, it is a sturdy cover, but I do like putting it in a, in a zip cover just to protect this and the Midori five-year comes with this handy um, box that you can put it in and you can mark you know what years it covers and put this into your bookcase so I just slide it out and the cover is actually really nice linen texture and it's a beautiful color it also comes with two bookmarks and um, what I like about the Midori 5-year is that um, it's undated, so you can choose when to start and when to end, and you just put in the years yourself. And what I decided to use this for is to um, put in really funny or cute quotes that my twin girls say over the years and they're currently four years old and I started this in 2021 so I started it last year and I haven't written in it every day which is not the point for me it's more so that I just when they do say something funny that I want to remember um, I just put in the year and then I just put in the quote and the idea behind this is that you know, this book can last me for 10 years or even longer because I don't um, write in it every day. So technically, it could be multiple years that this book covers. But um, ideally, at the end of it, I would like to look back on this and have multiple entries per day of um, throughout the years of my girls just saying funny things or cute, quirky things as kids do. And so that's how I'm using it. I'm also using the Pentel Energel Clana for um, this Midori five year. Uh, I find that the MD paper holds really well to fountain pen inks, but also just to gel pens. And so you can tell there's no um, bleed through onto the next page. If there's one thing to note about this five year diary is that the, um, it doesn't lay completely flat. 
just because of the way it's that it's bound so um, you sort of have to push it down and hold it down as you're writing so if that bugs you then um, just something to note and um, in contrast the Hobonichi five-year Techo does lay flat so I have no issues writing in it um, just laying it flat like this So that's one thing to note. Um, the paper is also not a pure white, so it's uh, it's this sort of beigey cream um, off-white color. It's very it's very lovely, and um, I do enjoy using the Midori um, Five Year. I just don't know if I would use it every day, so. Um, you know that's just something to think about and I love that there are little designs so at the um, beginning of every month there's a little illustration and then throughout the month it's it's just a little illustration on both um, pages and yeah it sort of works through until the end of the year with different illustrations that are really really cute and really nice oh. The front pages, there's a prologue, which I really like. So you can include a little tidbit about each year. And then in the back, there's an epilogue. So you can have a highlight for each year. And then there's just a mem personal memo page. So um, there aren't a lot of extra pages in this one compared to the Hobonichi Techo, but um, you know, it depends on what you wanna put in those pages, I guess. That's the comparison between a Midori five-year diary and a Hobonichi five-year techo. Um, I would probably recommend both, but if I was just to go with one that I would write in on the daily, um, I would choose the Hobonichi techo just because it lies flat, it's small and um, compact, and I have a cover for it so I don't have to worry about um, ruining the cover or any part of the book. And I actually love the layout because I can write something small for the year or for the day of the year. And I can use the right hand side um, for um, artistic practice. So I, and I really enjoy that and I love that I can do that. And it has the versatility that way. So yeah, just some things to think about if you're considering a five year. Um, if you do use a five year, let me know what you're using it for. There's so many ideas out there. These are just two um, different ways of using a five year. But, um, you know, there's so many ways that you can use it. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. I'm Corolla, and on Instagram, I'm at from Corolla. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.